the secretary, Mr. Yermak, conducted me very good. I think that this hearing is basically trying to get to the middle, to the 20 percent of independents who have not yet made their decision as to whether or not the president should be reelected or not. I think that we all understand that the Senate is in control of the Republicans. They will defend the president, so I do not think he'll be impeached. Um, but the question is whether or not those 20 percent of independents will sway the election in 2020. That's my opinion. I think that's what the purpose of this hearing is about. So I'm excited to have the testimony of the public hearings in front of me so I can review it for myself and, you know, make judgments on, on the credibility of what's going on. Uh, suppress and persecute citizens, not the I hope the American people are smart enough to understand when they've been fed a con. Uh, and they're smart enough to look at all of the evidence and all of the facts, especially uh, on the case that we're looking at, and reach the conclusion that's best for the country, no matter what it is. Investigations to benefit his reelection campaign. Let me know now, because this hearing is going to change significantly. As I said, Mr. Rodgers. Honestly, I feel like you're probably going to get it together a lot quicker if you've got someone that asks questions for a living and knows how to direct the conversation to keep it moving. I mean, it would be interesting for me, at least, to see both sides, but I don't have all day to watch it, so I'd like to see the interesting points and move along. <laughs> was given notification the day before on July 20th. Uh, we're all really interested in the legal groundings here because most of us are not old enough to remember the last time a president got impeached. I mean, I was a toddler when Clinton was in office. So it's, it's, very, it's a very interesting area for us because this isn't really an area we've ever seen before.